Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the perimeter of composite figures. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So before we start solving for the perimeter of these two given figures or two given composite figures, punta muna natin ano bang ibig sabihin ng perimeter at ng composite figure. Pag sinabi natin composite figure, it is a composition of two or more figures to create a single figure. So as you can see, example here, this figure is composed of two different figures. Example, this one is a rectangle. And this rectangle is combined with this half circle or semicircle. That's why this one is a composite figure. Now when you say perimeter naman, it is a distance around a given figure. Okay? So I hope na makuha yung concept between the perimeter and concept figure. Now let's start solving for the perimeter of this two given composite figure. So let's start with this one. With this one. Now as you can see, um, this one is not quite um, difficult because what we need here is to figure out what is the length of this side and this side. And all in all, to calculate for the perimeter, all we need to do is to add all the measurement of the sides of this given composite figure. Now to calculate for the perimeter, we need to figure out this one and this one. So let's try. This side has the length of 13 meters. What is the reason why this one is 13 meters? Because this one corresponds to this side and this side of this given figure. As you can see, when you combine them, the answer is this one. Meaning, this is 13 meters. What about this side? This side is simply 5 meters. So how do I get, or how did I get 5 meters? This is 13 meters. And to get this, what I need to do is to subtract this 8 meters from 13 meters. And as you can see, that is 5 meters. So let's add them to get the perimeter. Let's start with this 5 meters plus 7 meters plus 8 meters plus 6 meters plus 13 meters and lastly plus 13 meters. Again, in this kind of composite figure, all you need to do is to add all the measurement of the side lengths. And now let's add them. 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 8 which is 20, plus 6 that is 26, plus 13 is 39, plus 13 that would give you the answer of 52. Meaning, the perimeter or the distance around this Composite figure is 52 meters. And this is the answer for this problem. So I hope guys nakuha niyo yung ano, technique kung paano siya gawin. And let's proceed with item number 2. For number 2, this one is different from this one. Right? And as I have told you earlier, this composite figure is composed of a rectangle and a semicircle. Meaning, to get the perimeter... What we need to do is to get the perimeter of the rectangle plus the perimeter of the semicircle. Let's start with the perimeter of rectangle. The perimeter of rectangle is this. Perimeter of rectangle is equal to 5, 8. So, paano natin kunin yan? Ibig sabihin, if this is 8 units, this one is 8 meters. If this is 5 meters, this side of the rectangle is also 5 meters. So remember, I told you that the perimeter is the distance between or around a given figure. So what we need to do is to add all these measurements. That is 5 meters plus 8 meters plus 5 meters plus 8 meters. 
add them. 5 plus 8 is 13. Plus 5 which is 18. Plus 8 that is 26 meters. So what we have now is the perimeter of the given rectangle. So our next step is to calculate for the perimeter of the semicircle. Now what is the formula? Or the perimeter or circumference? The circumference of the semicircle, let me put something here, is this. Pi times D over 2. This D, focus tayo dito, sa half circle natin or semicircle, yung D natin is stands for the diameter. Ito yung mismong D natin. Itong habang to. Meaning, if this is 5 from the side of the rectangle, this is now considered as the diameter of the given half circle or semicircle. So what we need to do, substitute the value of pi, we will use 3. 0.14 times your diameter, which is 5 meters, over 2. So when we multiply this, you can use your calculator and you can manually multiply this. The product is 15.7, then divided by a meters divided by 2. Simplify. The circumference of the half circle or semicircle is simply 7.85 meters. This is now the value or the distance around this arc. Oops, sorry. I need to adjust the paper. Okay, this is the answer. Okay. For you to see the answer. Now let's add these two numbers or these values. The perimeter of the rectangle which is 26 meters plus the circumference or perimeter of the half circle which is 7.85 meters. Add them all. 26 plus 7 is 33. Then lagay mo 8.5 and meters. So this is the answer guys. As simple as that. So, kailangan mo na malaman dito or malaman kung ano yung bumubuo sa mas, mga composite figures na meron ka. And, dapat memorize mo rin yung formula for the, the given figures kapag hinanap yung perimeter. So, I hope guys, may natutunan kayo sa mismong video natin. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!